Today we're going over the exterior anatomy of the Riddell Speed Flex for youth and adults. So most noticeable, the Riddell Speed Flex has this portion right here, which is the front flex portion. Upon collision, this portion bends in and stops the interior collision the way that a car bumper would react. Of course, you're still gonna feel it on the inside, but this helps reduce the impact felt on one's forehead. Next is the front bumpers. Now, in this case, we have Green Gridiron 3D bumpers on here. 3D bumpers are great because you can accessorize your team or your program. Typically, they would just come with something that says Riddell or the NFL ones are blank. And the same goes for the rear bumpers. Now, a lot of people ask, well, hey, can I just swap this bumper portion so that it doesn't look black or white? And the answer is no, not really. The bumper is attached to all of this rear padding in here. So if you want to just change this portion, you're going to have a really hard time with that unless you're okay swapping the pads. Next up is the face mask. So the Verdell Speed Flex attaches the face mask onto the shell by these four points right here. Now you'll see there is no mount up here. These clips are clear. We sell them in multiple colors as well as the face mask. We stock 42 styles of Riddell Speed Flex face masks and we have 37 standard colors. This is an SF2BD SW, but like I said, we have a wide variety of colors and styles. Next up are visors. Now, clear visors are allowed in games. These tinted or colored, or as I like to say, cool looking visors really aren't allowed in a lot of game use, but they're allowed in spring training. They're allowed in photos, of course, for your social media. A lot of times during practice, coaches and refs will allow it to be worn. But during game, the visors need to be 100% clear. This is a Shock Zero G visor. This is an Oakley Prism Pro visor. Both of these visors are designed to perfectly fit the Speedflex face mask curvature. Visor clips. Now on this face mask and this face mask, you see two different styles. These are the malleable or more adaptable shock visor clips. These are the rigid Oakley visor clips. The truth is there are a massive amount of clips out there now that can fit pretty much any combination of face mask and visor. Chin strap. So we sell our chin straps on the helmets for youth. They're soft. For adult, they're hard. Now, these are all cam lock. These are the latest and greatest invention by Riddell. Now, a lot of people are swapping these cam locks out to adapters so they can have buckles. The same thing with the strap locks. So strap locks allow the top strap to be locked into place. This is simply done by a flathead or Phillips screwdriver. By loosening this screw, you can adjust your strap, lock it down, and then this does not have to get touched for the rest of your season. Valve caps. So these valve caps are what actually holds the pads in place. So if you were to loosen this, it comes right out and the pad would then come out nice and easy. This is for maintenance, this is for cleaning, and it's also something to be aware of because sometimes you may lose these. In the center is where your needle would go to inflate these pads. Quick release hardware and quick release pins. So it should be noted, the face mask hardware is two different sizes. The larger clips go on the top, smaller clips go on the bottom. This quick release tool allows you to easily take the face mask hardware in and out. You press that, you release this, take this, now you can swap it any way you want. To re-engage, you'd press this in. From the inside, you need to press out, and from the outside, you need to press in. Engage that, 
And when you hear that click, you're locked and you are good to go. And then last but not least are the vent holes and the ear holes. So the ear hole, of course, is strategically placed for the player to be able to hear their players, their coaches, and whatever else they need to hear. You'll notice during loud games, the players will often, quarterback in particular, will cover this with his hand. Some players have actually made custom caps for these to block sound. These upper vent holes, yes, they of course are there to vent air out and to keep your head cool, but the truth is they also look pretty awesome. They're also strategically designed to allow most decals to be placed without any issues. These helmets, the accessories that we talked about, and all these pieces and components are of course for sale at greengridiron.com. We have everything that you need to keep you and your player safe. So this is everything that you need to know about the anatomy of the exterior of the youth and adult Rudell Speed Flex. If you have any other questions, of course, you can email us at service at greengridiron.com. If you're looking for bulk orders, we have team reps that can help you all the way from beginning to end. And if you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much.